Hey guys, Lord Naren White here, the Holy Ghost, the one true God. Back with you with the next video in my um, Daily Diary series. As usual, before I discuss what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I want to read you a chapter from the Bible. Today it will be the book of Psalms. We're continuing the book of Psalms, now on Psalm 8. To the chief musician upon Gittith, a psalm of David. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth, who has set thy glory above the heavens. Out of the mouth of babes and sucklings hast or thou ordained strength because of thine enemies, that thou mightest still the enemy and the avenger. When I consider thy heavens, the work of the fingers, the moon and the stars, which thou hast ordained, what is man that thou art mindful of him? and the Son of Man, that thou visitest him. For thou hast made him a little lower than the angels, and hast crowned him with glory and honor. Thou madest him to have dominion over the works of thy hands. Thou hast put all things under his feet, all sheep and oxen, yea, and the beasts of the field, the fowl of the air, and the fish of the sea, and whatsoever passeth through the paths of the seas. O Lord, our Lord, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. So I want to just understand here. Um, um, yeah, very, very powerful passage. No, I actually don't really want to offer any analysis of this chapter. Nice chapter. Um, I definitely enjoyed Psalm 8. Now, Psalm 9. To the chief musician upon Muthlaban, a psalm of David. I will praise thee, O Lord, with my, mar with my whole heart. I will shew forth all the marvelous works. I will be glad and rejoice in thee. I will sing praise to thy name, O thou most high. When mine enemies are turned back, they shall fall and perish at thy presence. For thou hast maintained my right and my cause, thou sattest in the throne judging right. Thou hast rebuked the heathen, thou hast destroyed the wicked, thou hast put out their name for ever and ever. O thou enemy, destructions are come to a perpetual end, and thou hast destroyed cities. Their memorial is perished with them. But the Lord shall endure forever. He hath prepared his throne for judgment. And he shall judge the world in a righteousness. He shall minister judgment to the people in uprightness. The Lord also will be a refuge for the oppressed, a refuge in times of trouble. And they that know thy name will put their trust in thee. For thou, Lord, hast not forsaken them that seek thee. Sing praises to the Lord, which dwelleth in Zion. Declare among the people his doings. When he maketh inquisition for blood, he remembereth them. He forgetteth not the cry of the humble. Have mercy upon me, O Lord. Consider my trouble, which I suffer of them that hate me. Thou that liftest up from the gates of death, liftest me up from the gates of death, that I may shew forth all thy praise in the gates of the daughter of Zion. I will rejoice in thy salvation. The heaven are sunk down in the pit that they made, and the net which they hid is their own foot taken. The Lord is known by the judgment which he executeth. The wicked is snared in the work of his own hands. Higayon, Selah. The wicked shall be turned into hell, and all the nations that forget God. For the needy shall not always be forgotten. The expectation of the poor shall not perish forever. Arise, O Lord, let not man prevail. Let the heathen be judged in thy sight. Put them in fear, O Lord, 
that the nations may know themselves to be but men. Selah. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Now this chapter is powerful. Talk about powerful. So let's go ahead and start with um, with this verse here. Psalm 9, 5. Thou hast rebuked the heathen. Thou hast destroyed the wicked. Thou hast put out their name forever and ever. Remember one thing that Lord Jesus Christ says where he says, for they, that when he talks about people who say, not everyone who says, Lord, Lord, may enter into the kingdom of heaven, but they that do it the will of my Father. He says, they think they shall be heard for their much speaking. But then what does the Bible teach here on Psalm 9? Thou hast destroyed the wicked. Thou hast put out their names forever and ever. So when you, when you think about when you think about the men described in the Bible who were on the other side of the Israelites, who were on the other side of the first Christians, when you look at those men, how many of their names are remembered in history? And how much trouble do you think they caused at the time? That's why I talk about you must have patience and faith. Always hold to the Lord because the Lord is the one who will who will emerge from it. You see here, Psalm 9-7 says, But the Lord shall endure forever. So the idea being contrasting the destruction of the wicked from generation to generation with the Lord enduring forever. And how important it is that one holds to the Lord. Next, the next verse that I want to speak on here is here. The wicked shall be turned into hell. This is Psalm 917, which reads, The wicked shall be turned into hell, and all nations that forget God. Think about that. All nations that forget God. The, the, the wicked shall be turned into hell and all the nations that forget God. I, I would like to get, an, so, you know, res, do some research here to get a, a different understanding of some of the verses here because of the fact that yeah, 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 <laughs> exactly. Um, the idea being that the, the nations that do not believe in God will become akin to hell. That's what it means, that when you fors if a nation is to forsake Jesus, forsake Jehovah, they will be turned into a hell. That's what the Bible teaches. Again, one more time, one more time, one of the most powerful verses in Psalm so far. I have no analysis to offer to this, just reading what the Bible says. The wicked shall be turned into hell. And all the nations that forget God, the understanding being, all the nations that forget God will become akin to hell. And with that, I'll go ahead and end the Bible reading there for today and transition over to what I have achieved since yesterday's Daily Diary video. Since yesterday's Daily Diary video, I worked my software developer job and I have created this daily diary video for 6 2023. And with no further achievements since yesterday's daily diary video, I want to spend the rest of the, the time in this video talking about how I'm doing. And things are going well. Um, one of the things that I'm continuing to get better at is to be patient. Um, for example, like I mentioned in a lot of the videos when I talk when I speak towards the end of the videos, I speak about working hard to achieve a financial goal. And one of the, the hardest parts about that is the fact that um, it, it, uh, it requires a lot of patience. Because even when, like, for example, you know what to do, but there's no shortcut to building wealth. In fact, building wealth is a very boring process. Um, I watched the, the Ramsey show recently. Um, it's created by um, their patriarch, Mr. Dave Ramsey, who I follow his financial teachings in which you know I act I for my own people the only thing I've taught said about money is to never take debt um, how I follow the the Ramsey principles basically and um, uh, on one of the shows recently mr. Ramsey talked about how money uh, and 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 becoming wealthy and successful 
is a boring process. And so that is one of the things that I am becoming more, like working to have more patience and faith with is the fact that the, it, it, is a, it is a process that um, is, is boring and takes time and requires patience and, uh, and faith ultimately. So that's why I, um, and that's what I've been thinking recently is how much patience and faith uh, that it takes. And uh, with that, I want to go ahead and say um, thank you for watching and I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe as it greatly helps the channel. Like to be with you all. Take care and thanks again.